Hey friends, it's Jacqueline here. In today's video, I'm bringing you my review, Lip and Arm Swatches, on the brand new Chanel Rouge Allure Les Trek Lipsticks. These are the first Chanel refillable lipsticks, which I'm really happy about because we have seen many other luxury brands bringing refillables to really help on the impact that we do on Earth and to our environment one of them Dior, another one Hermes, and I'm so happy to see Chanel coming out with refillables. Hopefully it's not only for the lipsticks, but that they will come with refillables of other products, and that way we can help our environment. Now, these lipsticks, they come in 20 different shades. I went ahead and picked up four different shades, three in the regular format, regular compact, and one of them on a refill type. Now, what I noticed about these lipsticks is that a lot of the shades they are leaning red which is typical from Chanel but I'm happy to see that they have also some pinky tones and corally tones some kind of nudie peachy tone so I try to pick and choose those that I think that I will give the most use out of them each of these lipsticks they cost $55 they are made in France they do have a shelf life of 18 months and different from the say for example the Rouge Allure lipsticks these right here have a more of like a slim format they also come with two grams of product because of this slim format too it's a little bit of less product than say for example a rouge allure lipsticks what else to know about these lipsticks is that they are supposed to give you a high intensity lip color with an ultra high concentration of pigments not only that these lipsticks they are supposed to give you 12 hours of hydration and up to 10 hours of care yes right here on the box it tells you that they are supposed to give you that radiance but also care for your lips so i'm super excited to give them a go and a try so let me show to you the unicorn here you will find the shade name and also up here all the details also on the back i'm going to start first with the shade 812 beige brood and it's actually the lipstick that i picked up on the refill so this is how the cartridge comes and then on the top you have the CC logo of Chanel. And then let me show you how the lipstick comes if you were to buy the lipstick and not the refill. So it is nice and thin. And then when you open it up, you have just the same kind of mechanism as a Rouge Allure lipstick. To interchange each of the lipsticks, you basically just have to pull out and then have your refill right here. And you just go ahead and put it in with a cap on top and then you click there and then you take this cap and that's it there you have it and now you can take out the lipstick you know it's retractable too but if you're thinking you know what i'm just gonna buy the refills i will say <laughs> it's not gonna work at least you're gonna need one of the bases because this way the lipstick is retractable if you are just to have say the refill by itself there's no twisting mechanism right here that you can let the lipstick go in and out the gears are all inside here so you're gonna need definitely the base and then another thing is the shade is written in here very very thin it says 812 brute in white it's honestly so so thin that i don't even know if you're gonna be able to see it but it's right there and that being said there's no shade name at the base of the lipstick which that's fine but one thing that i have noticed too is that when you're using your base and after you just click in <laughs> right um you're not able to see the name of the lipstick the actual part where the lipstick name is at is right here and all of these is covered by the base so if you have many of these lipsticks i mean it's not a big deal perhaps for me as a reviewer i really want to see okay what's the name of this lipstick so i can tell you but in a day-to-day -day basis it's not that i'm looking you know this is the name but it's something that you're gonna have to be a little bit you know aware of if you're like okay which is the lipstick that i use today you're gonna have to take it out and then actually read the name if you have several of these lipsticks and as far as how different the uh, component looks as say a regular rouge velvet lipstick it's just a little bit more slim just barely there again same 
type of mechanism but just a little bit more slim not for much though mostly you're gonna notice it when you take it out in with the shade 812 Ooh, soft creamy that's a beautiful nudie shade and by the way if i haven't mentioned it i will be leaving all the details of each of these lipsticks where to find them as well as the rest of my makeup everything will be on the description box below along with the links let's go ahead and try this lipstick nice and creamy it is satin but not super shiny it doesn't have that very glossy kind of effect it just have a very soft sheen to it it's not super shiny and it's nice and creamy without being too thick Next shade, 814 Beige Imperial. This shade has more of like a corally undertone. Oh such a beautiful shade 818 rose independent This is more like a kind of like a Frank was kind of shade. It's on the warmer side of a reddish pink tone. A hundred forty eight coral sanguine. The pigmentation of these lipsticks is incredible. This one definitely has that corally, orangey undertone. Beautiful orangey red shade. And another thing that I really like about these lipsticks is also their shape. Not only because they are slim, but the way that they are um, slanted, it makes it really easy to shape your lips. Love this shade right here. So beautiful. So lovely. I honestly really happy with these lipsticks from Chanel. They are yes of a satin formulation. They are more creamy. To me, they are not really super hydrating. To me, they feel more moisturizing. Usually when we think about moisturizers, we think about a little bit, not super thick product, but um, a product that kind of like gives some type of protection. Kind of like when you use a lip balm that has that extra layer of protection. That's the way I feel about these lipsticks. It's not that type of lip care of a lipstick that feels more um, kind of oily like a lip oil like for example the Sisley ones these ones right here they give extra shine the ones from Chanel they are a satin lipstick with a lot of pigment but you can really feel that nice moisturizing kind of like feel to them just as 
any satin lipstick honestly i don't think that this will last you know for so many hours usually i leave that for a matte lipstick for this type of lipstick i know i will have to reapply but as i was swatching them i noticed that they leave a little bit of a stain not too much a tiny bit not a lot but somewhat yeah in fact i'm taking them off right here and you can see it's it's not like a huge stain that we're talking about i honestly really love this formulation i think they look beautiful they are just very comfortable on the lips i really like this formulation the only thing that i will have to say is usually um <laughs> chanel tends to come with a lot of red lipsticks which i'm not against of i think a red lipstick is beautiful but sometimes they are like pretty much out of the 20 shades um i tried to pick up those that i thought they were not red and as you were able to tell one of these ones right here what was it rose independent 818 i thought it was gonna be a rosy tone something not necessarily moldy but a little bit rosy and no, <laughs> no, it, it wasn't rosy. To me, it looked um, a reddish pink kind of lipstick instead of that pinky shade that I was looking for. Not disappointed, but I really wish that Chanel will start bringing us more nude shades, peach nudes, pinky nudes aside to the variety of red shades that they have available which i mean i know a red lipstick from chanel it is a red lipstick from chanel i'm not making complaints about it i'm just simply saying you know perhaps four or five more shades on the nudie tones that would have been fantastic but i'm also very happy that we have some coral and orangey tones right here now that it's coming in spring and summertime i think it's gonna be perfect now if you're gonna ask me about how different they are from like say the lip cheeks from Chantecai or the new brilliant formula from hermes or even the fito rouge shine lipsticks from sisley all of these they are more balmy um the one from sisley is actually more like a hybrid between a balm and a satin lipstick and a lip oil with a good amount of pigmentation while the ones from Chantecai they are more like a lip balm hybrid with a lipstick with quite a bit of pigmentation and then the brilliance one from hermes they are a little bit more of a lip balm with some color to it hopefully it makes sense I, I know the descriptions they sound alike but definitely each of them are unique and they are different now in regards to chanel rouge allure l'extrait is a lipstick a satin lipstick that is what it is it's not um it will give you the care to your lips but it's not I, i'm i'm not gonna say this is a lip balm hybrid because it is not okay my friends I think this makes it for this video. I would love to know from you if you picked up any of these new lipsticks from Chanel, which shades you got, how you're liking them, and how you're liking the formulation. I would love to continue the conversation on the comment section down below. And while you're at it, and if you haven't done so yet, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. And come and follow me on my Instagram. If you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, share with family and friends. And until next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.